if your class is seem too energetic or the people that you take care of seem to be moving around so much and never finish watching the show, put those old school yoga bands on the chairs. Give the people something, give the kids something to move the legs with, to bounce the legs off of. It's quiet. It gives them something to do. They can expend the energy. At the same time, they'll be in one spot a whole lot safer. Swinging and banging on the ones and twos. Allow me to reintroduce myself to you. I'm Kendrick Gavant, your professor of gratitude, because I open up this school called University of Gratitude, and every day I'm reminding you to write down the stories of why you're grateful. I'm modeling writing down the stories of why you're grateful. That way you'll have less negative thoughts, more positive thoughts. I want you to get past the abandonment. I want you to stop tripping on your chronic illness. I want you to move beyond your physical and your unseen limitations. I'm trying to give you a way to focus and keep going every single day. It's the University of Gratitude, man. Grab your gratitude journal. Let's get talking about these why stories. Okay, so what are we celebrating this week, today? Today is International Chocolate Day, and I did not grow up a fan of chocolate like that. I'm a fan of candy, super big fan of candy, but chocolate, oh no, that was not my shit, oh no. But International Chocolate Day, I already got some snacks. I already got some little chocolate treats lined up. I will be celebrating that. On top of that, I'm late to the party with this. I'm late to telling y'all. It is assistant living week here in America. Assisted living week. And I should have told y'all that on Sunday. It goes from Sunday all the way to Saturday. So if you know anybody in an assisted living facility, this is like the Super Bowl for us. If you got family members there, if you know anybody that you love that is there, yo, rock with them. Tell a story to them. Listen to their stories. Put them on a gratitude journal. Give that to them to read, to write in, something. But it's Assisted Living Week. It is national. It is International Chocolate Day. Come on, man. Y'all can take this into anywhere. Classrooms, sales floors. Let's go. All right, so all week I got at least four gratitudes for you. All week. Number one today. It is Tuesday, September 13th. The 13th, man. Do y'all remember those Garfield cartoons? And they always talked about Monday the 13th being the worst. Tuesday the 13th. Number one. That new song. I don't know how new it is. That song, I Know by Boosie Badass. My student sent this to me. He was at the Diaz fight over the weekend. And the fact that my student sent this to me, let me know that I am special and I am out there with somebody. That fired me up and made me feel great. On top of that, the song go hard. I Know by Boosie Badass. I had never heard the song before. And the song, I know, I know, that I feel like can't nobody with me. And God know my back. I mean, the song go hard, dog. And I've been jamming it, rocking this shit hard now for three straight days. So I'm thankful, grateful for the song because it gets me into a better mood. I'm super grateful that he sent it to me. A thousand thank yous, dog. And the fact that you're at the Diaz fight and text this shit to me, that shit makes me feel like, damn, this this cat could be watching Diaz fight. He's sending me text messages. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. I'm rocking and rolling. Gratitude number two. Got my clothes washed and dried, finally. I didn't do it last week. I was at the point of, I was at, I'm at the point of the drawers where you're wearing drawers that are a little bit too big or the drawers that are, you know, kind of rad. Either way, man, I'm not going to go too far into it. But y'all know what I'm talking about. And I'm grateful to have these clothes washed because now I can wear the good stuff again. I got my healing shirt on. That brightens me up, makes me feel better. I got drawers that actually fit me and don't slide down or fall down when I'm trying to go to the bathroom. That makes me safer for me to walk around. Yeah, man, getting them clothes washed and dried, that was big. Now, I would tell y'all I got them folded, and there would be a whole third gratitude. I can tell you how cool it is to have them folded up and how organized, and I ain't done that shit, though. I'm, I'm not, I am not Superman. Hell no. Nah. Folded up and washed and, no. Sometimes I do. I'm going to just be honest with y'all. I'm just grateful that I got them washed and dried so far. 
Gratitude number three, I got the towels washed and dried too. Whole nother gratitude. The towels are not put up. I'm grateful for that because I got a few favorite washcloths that I really feel like hold water. You know, you got some washcloths that either hold the water for a long time or some washcloths that do not hold the water for a long time. Yo, these are the thick ones. They're gray. I don't like the white ones because the white ones make you feel like stuff is super dirty when you look at it like, oh, hey, no, is that damn me dirty? No, straight gray, nice, thick, luscious, soft, those. I got the good, luscious, soft, absorbent bath towels when I come out the shower. I don't have to keep doing this to get the water. No, you just, you damn it just like lightly press and it's good. It's just gone, especially on the back when you hit that old school, take it like this. Cause that's the dangerous move to hold it like this while you're trying to dry yourself off and everything. Oh no, oh man, that one go hard. Either way, that's why I'm grateful for the bath towels. I'm a whole lot safer. I can, I can get stuff done. Last gratitude number four, I'm gonna let y'all go because it is tie day. That's why I'm grateful. Tie day, T-I hyphen day. That means I take Tuesday, I take Friday, I got tie day because your boy don't work on Wednesdays. I do Monday, Tuesday, I do Thursday, Friday. I'm off on Wednesdays, I'm off on weekends. Oh shit, that gives a whole, I don't like Tuesdays, man. I, I've struggled with Tuesday because I feel like that's the tip of the middle of the week. That's a that's a hard one for me. I don't, I don't know what it is about that, but that's a hard one for me. Even when I was a school teacher, that was a hard one for me. As a salesperson, that was, that is a hard one for me. But knowing that you get, when you get off work on a Tuesday and there's no work on Wednesdays, it means you get to kick it on Tuesday night like never before. And since my wife works Tuesday nights, I'm gonna try to actually stay up with her. And I don't know, man. Like, I know I can't be watching TV and hanging out like that because she's actually working. But God, darn, I just want to be in her space, be in her energy. I was telling my partner about that. That's how I've gotten. That's what being this gratitude journal and writing in this gratitude journal has changed me. It has made me like a better, like a better father, a better husband, a better person. And then I'm way more cognizant of how others make me feel and how I feel to others. And yeah, man, so I'm off on Tuesday nights. No, I work Tuesdays, I'm off on Wednesdays. It's tie day, that's what I'm grateful for. And that is why I'm grateful, because who I get to hang out with. Yo, y'all be pretty, stay grateful. I salute each and every last one of you. A thousand thank yous for rocking with me. I'm out. It is time to stop waiting on somebody else to teach you, to make you, to motivate you, to inspire you to be a better person. You can do it yourself by picking up a gratitude journal and writing down why you're grateful every single day. That will cost you nothing. There's no complaining about prices. There's no complaining about who's available. There's no complaining about if they are compatible with you. Get yourself a gratitude journal. Start writing this stuff out. Take the steps to be better. You.